Hi guys, Harry here. Welcome to Scrap Science. It's probably going to be a pretty simple short video today. Uh, all we're going to do is react hydrochloric acid and some ammonia to generate some ammonium chloride. Uh, from the concentrations that I've got here, I've got this 32% hydrochloric acid and this is just a little bit over 1% ammonia. It's not very good, but in order to generate, I want around 5 grams of ammonium chloride. Uh, we'll need around 145 milliliters of this 1.1% ammonia, and we'll need a little bit over 10 milliliters of this hydrochloric acid. So I've got these beakers here ready to set that up, and we'll pour that in now. Alright, so let's pour the ammonia in until we get around 145 milliliters. Maybe we'll do a little bit less than 145 in order to get a slight excess of hydrochloric acid and then that way when we finish the reaction if the pH isn't 7 neutral we can just add a little bit more ammonia in order to balance it out. And we'll pour a little bit over or maybe even just 10 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. A little bit more, I think. Perfect. An interesting thing about hydrochloric acid and ammonia is that both of these chemicals, uh, they fume with their corresponding acid and base. And so, if we bring the, the liquids close together, you can kind of see that the fumes will spontaneously react together in the same way that we'll be re reacting them later on to give this kind of mist of ammonium chloride particulates in the air. There we are. So, if we set up this reaction in this glass jar, I'll pour in the ammonia now. Seeing as this reaction is going to be really exothermic, I'm going to just add in the hydrochloric acid, just drop by drop, and you can see that we get that same fuming as before. It should fume quite vigorously if we actually add in more than a drop at a time. There we are. It should actually start to warm up as well if we mix it round. Yeah, that's starting to get a little bit warm, but we'll slowly add some more acid. And I'll keep doing that till that's done. Now that the reaction's finished, uh, the water's heated up quite a little bit. Uh, and you can probably see just on the top there, I think that's our ammonium chloride precipitating out of the solution. But to check that the reaction is fully done, all we can do is just add, dip our pH paper in, and we can see that it's still a little bit acidic. We compare this on the on the chart. We've got a pH of around around three. So what we can do uh, is we can add just a little bit more ammonia to the solution to bring the pH right back down to uh, to seven where we want it. So let's do that now. I've got a little bit more ammonia. This is should react with all the rest of the uh, hydrochloric acid to get our pH down to that seven that we want. So that's that's still acidic. Got to add a little bit more. Well, I think I'm going to stop here. I've added in a lot of ammonia to try to get the solution back to neutral, but as you can see, it's still very acidic. Oh well, that shouldn't matter too much, seeing as when we boil off the water, the hydrochloric acid should pretty well come out of solution as well. Uh, so what we'll do now is uh, we'll boil this down and see if we can recover all the ammonium chloride. Actually, uh, come to think of it, this, this solid stuff on the side here probably isn't our ammonium chloride, seeing as ammonium chloride has a really high solubility in water. Uh, it's probably just the impurities from the ammonia that are just precipitating out like that. I just filter these off before I start boiling. So now I've filtered this solution 
is this cup here and so what I'm going to do is just pour some into here this beaker and we'll stick that on the hot plate to start boiling it all down turn that hot plate on and then as this as this starts to boil as it progressively gets less and less volume uh, I'll just keep topping it up with this stuff until we get our ammonium chloride powder at the end. Uh, once that's boiling, it's probably a bad idea to breathe in those fumes, so maybe stand up wind, do this outside, leave that going for ages, see if we can get that water to all evaporate down. So it's been about 20 minutes, we're slowly boiling down the water, still got a fair bit left in that cup over there, and I've added in some little pieces of broken glass to get it to boil a bit quicker. Uh, what I think happened in the in the original reaction that we did was um, this acid I think must be a fair bit more concentrated than it says on the label or the ammonia must be uh, a lot less concentrated and that obviously made the, uh, the solution that we made acidic because there was an excess of hydrochloric acid that we couldn't neutralize with uh, the ammonia but I think that now that we're boiling the water, all that hydrochloric acid that was left there should boil out of the solution as well. Alright, I think I've worked it out actually. You see, I was assuming that this proportion, 11 grams per litre, was uh, the, the proportion of ammonia rather than ammonium hydroxide. Because uh, ammonium hydroxide is actually more than twice as heavy as ammonia. So I actually put in twice as much... Uh, hydrochloric acid than I actually needed and that's why I had to add so much ammonia back into the solution to try to neutralize it and it still didn't get there. Oh well if this is acidic by the end then uh, we'll see if we can add a little bit more ammonia to try to neutralize it again. Now it took ages but we have as you can see concentrated that solution down to what are we at now around about 20 milliliters and I have just checked the, the pH and it is still very, well really quite acidic. So I think I am going to need to um, add a little bit more ammonia to it to see if I can actually neutralize that. But maybe we'll concentrate it down further just a little bit more and we'll see how it goes. So I just added around 45 milliliters of ammonia and finally I think if we dip in this piece of pH paper, you can see we have actually reached a pH neutral. So if you try this, make sure to get your stoichiometry right, because it's very annoying to try to balance it out if you've got twice the amount of uh, hydrochloric acid than you actually needed. So originally I was a bit worried about the impurities from the, the ammonia, the solid impurities from the reaction. Uh, interfering with the solution. I was going to uh, filter it out with this beaker and piece of uh, paper towel but as you can see they're kind of all just stuck to the wall of the beaker now and if we have a look at it from above you can see well, we can't really the, the fumes are in the way a bit but you can see that the solution is actually really clear so I think we'll just leave those solid bits on the side and once we get down to around about uh, 15 milliliters, we'll pour it off and see if we can get any crystals of ammonium chloride. So we're now down to around about 15 milliliters, maybe a little bit more. Uh, we did reach 15 milliliters just a couple of minutes ago, but then I noticed that the ammonium chloride actually started crystallizing out. So. What I'm going to do at this point, where we've got about what 20 milliliters in there, I'll pour it off. I'll turn off the hot plate now, and I'll grab some kind of rag so that I don't burn my hand. And we will grab this, and pour it off this beaker and we'll watch as the ammonium chloride starts to precipitate out. 
crystallize out, I should say. Well, I tried a time lapse. Uh, you probably saw it didn't work. We didn't really get anything crystallizing out of those 15 milliliters. So what I'm going to do is just boil this down. Turn the hot plate back on, and we'll boil those 15 milliliters down, and hopefully the ammonium chloride will crystallize out this time. Well that beaker was a bit too small to boil down around 20 milliliters of water so I've put the water back into this larger beaker and hopefully this time we'll be able to boil all that water down and get our ammonium chloride crystals. I did try to recover the crystals from the walls of this tiny beaker but uh, we didn't really get very much, you can probably see there, maybe if I get a better angle, there we are, it's, if I put my finger next to it, yeah it's not very much. Hopefully we'll get a little bit more in the bit that's boiling down. So that's onto a gentle boil. We'll just wait a few minutes and hopefully that'll boil down. So it's been boiling for a few minutes and you see that it's really, really bubbly now. And that indicates that we are crystallizing out our ammonium chloride. Uh, leave that going right until, I think, right until the water is all gone so that we can get some dry crystals. And we're just about there. Just a sec, and we'll grab it off the hot plate. Turn the hot plate off now, I think. But there we have it. You can see all of it's crystallized out now. Grab that off the hot plate and you can't really see from that side but if we look up above that's our ammonium chloride right there. Alright I'll try to uh, scoop this out and stick it onto this paper towel that I've got here to try, it, try and dry it out some more and then I'll stick it into this little Ziploc bag to store it. And there we go, our dried ammonium chloride. So I'll just transfer it to this Ziploc bag and we'll be done. Uh, I'm not actually going to use this stuff. I've made it for my grandmother so she can do some wood burning art or something. I don't really know. But anyway, there's our yield. Probably around 5 grams like we calculated initially. Catch you next time.